This is what $1,000 gets in the Philippines. The Philippines is an affordable paradise. And previously, I have shown what $100 can get in the Philippines, but today, I'm gonna show you what we can get with $1,000. So today, we embark for our crazy private island resort. But of course, we need to get there by a boat. And first off, we need to get to the port, and I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do that with all this luggage and the main way of transportation being these tiny tricycles. We're gonna go see if the locals have a solution. Uh, to the port. Okay, can this fit? Yeah. It fits? Yeah, the tricycle. Okay. So he's saying that these and us are gonna fit in one of those. You think you could do it? Um, I don't think so, but I think we're gonna make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a glove. Doesn't get any more perfect than that. Is that gonna fall? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? what? Let the adventure begin. Uh, Good morning. Thank you. Welcome to Hawaiian. Oh my gosh, guys. This place is incredible. I honestly feel like I'm in a dream right now. Check out how cool this is. So we have the lagoon room, which has this awesome huge balcony overlooking the lagoon. You even have this chair right here, which is perfect for reading a book, starting your morning off with some coffee, and just relaxing to the ocean. Then the room itself is beautiful with the decor and all the attention to detail. As you can see on all the counters and even behind the bed, they have all these cool beach rocks in the glass that you can see, as well as even the art, the desk and the wood that they use. You can tell that they really put a lot of heart into this place. That's kind of like the main theme of the Philippines. They just put heart into everything. Then if you come through here, you have this beautiful bathroom. They have this huge shower with the beautiful exposed stones, as well as they told us that this also is a bathtub. I personally have never taken a bath in anything like this. So very excited to try this out later tonight. No place I'd rather take a bubble bath than a private island in the Philippines. Then if you come outside, you also have your own private outdoor shower. So many options for bathing, such little time. Kaiyawan Island, high tech. Installed into the palm tree, they have this electronic system where you can hit to order your favorite cocktail, even get the bill and get it delivered right to your beach chair. This is paradise. Wow guys, I had no idea how massive this private island was gonna be, but there's really so much to explore. They even said there's some wild animals here, some Komodo dragons. So right now we're just kind of wandering through the jungle of the, the Kayawan Island. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Googling what to do if you see a Komodo dragon. I'm prepared. What do you do if you see a Komodo dragon? Stay in groups, lay low, and then run in a zigzag pattern, and then it says if it bites you, then you're just done. I really hope we see one. I just want to watch you run in a, a zigzag, zigzag pattern. <laughs> but I do need to add that the landscape and maintenance of this island is also so impressive. Everywhere you walk is just all these cool paths and all these amazing views and the nature. <laughs> I only got so many great things to say about this because this is such an experience of a lifetime. This is so cool. Another thing that has been so incredible about the Kaiwan Island is that if you swim just a couple meters off of shore, you are just swarmed with sea turtles, which I got so excited about because baby sea turtles are easily the cutest animals on the planet. And Noelle actually just got me this super cool sea turtle bracelet by a brand called Follow. And Follow makes actual animal tracking bracelets. And once you pick your animal and color, the bracelet arrives with a QR code where you're literally able to track your animal. So let's track pistachio. 
So it looks like Pistachio was born in Tortuguero National Park in Costa Rica and then swam all the way up. Looks like he's in Mexico. I think he's going to Tulum. Pistachio knows all the cool places to hang. It's so cool with the follow app to be able to so accurately track your animal. It's almost like find my friends, but find my animal. But what's my favorite part about it though is that they do donate partial profits to conservancies that protect wildlife. They also have other animals all over the world like lions and elephants in Africa where follow directly gives back to organizations that help that species. It does make a great gift for a birthday or for Valentine's Day, so if you do want to check them out for yourself, I'll leave a link down below. The sun is now set, and it even just started raining here on the island. And honestly, now that it is nighttime and there are some raindrops, it creates an even more relaxing and quaint ambiance. You can still hear the ocean and the waterfalls and then the raindrops just hitting the lagoon. But now we did just make it back to our hotel room and look at what the workers did. I have never seen anything like this before where they took leaves and cut them with scissors into this beautiful bed art. Enjoy your stay, Brett T. Mm, they added an I. Brett and Noel. Kaiwan Island Resort, we most certainly have. Filipinos really do just put heart into everything. This really is a dream come true. All right, since this is a romantic dinner, it has been very dark and a little bit difficult to film, but we got Noel with the flashlight and this delicious shrimp fra diavola. They keep bringing out all these dishes and everything is phenomenal. <laughs> this is incredible. Also, thank you, Noel. All right, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> this will go down as the most magical dinner of my life. We will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning from paradise. So after spending nearly 24 hours here on the Kaiwan Islands, I must say it has been such a surreal experience getting to just unplug from the world and be somewhere so remote on this island in the Philippines. And even though there is actually pretty great Wi-Fi here on the island, it has been so nice to be on my phone less, on my laptop less, and just take this as a time to relax. And we do unfortunately only have one more night here, so we're not gonna waste any more time and get busy. So we are here taking a bunch of content for the hotel. So this morning while the pool is still empty, getting some photos, and Noelle is being a trooper, hopping in the pool, being a model. <laughs> is it warm when you get in there or how is it? A little cold when you first get in, but anything for the content. <laughs> <laughs> At least you do have like the most incredible view. Check them, take a dip. Yeah, head first. <laughs> I am not just saying this, but this has to be some of the best food I have ever had out of any resort I've ever stayed at. I know it's breakfast, but they had chicken teriyaki, which was incredible. Got some hash browns, some rice, and then these ice blended lattes. Noelle, I don't think it gets much better than this. It really does, and it's so beautiful, and like the views are breathtaking, it's quiet. I wanna be on this private island forever. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just move here? Yeah, exactly. I'm <laughs> contemplating. <laughs> so, how much does staying on this private island cost? Well, depending on the time of year and which room, it can cost roughly $400 per night, which includes the transfer to the island, the stay, and the incredible breakfast. Now, I like to be fully transparent and wanted to say I did a collaboration with Kaiwan Island in exchange for drone shots and footage of their island for a two night stay. I am paying for the other activities and also lunch and dinner, but they do offer a bunch of free activities, including kayaks and even a hike to the top of one of the mountains on the island, which was pretty incredible. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, you could say is to showcase in the video, but if I'm being honest, I just really wanted to do this. So this is their spa. This has to be probably the coolest, most relaxing place in the world to get a massage. And Noelle, we're gonna be getting a two hour massage overlooking the water. <laughs> I'm so excited. I This is like what I'm most excited for, I think. Yeah. 
And I feel like too, I've personally never gotten more than an hour massage, but no, I haven't either. This is just gonna be the most relaxing <laughs> thing I've done all year. This place really is paradise. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Very good. This is incredible. So as you're getting your massage and you have your face right here, you have this glass floor so you can see all the fish and the blue water right below you. And you also have the incredible view right here. We'll see you guys in two hours. Oh my gosh, guys. I just teleported to heaven for the past two hours. That was easily the best massage of my life since you have the noise of the ocean waves crashing, as well as you get to look down and see fish, and even saw a couple baby sharks swimming by as we were getting massage. What do you think of that massage? I know you've had a lot of massages before, so how did that benchmark to the rest? That was, this is the best spa I've ever been to. Like, <laughs> honestly, I feel like most spas, you hear an audio of the ocean clip, and here is just like the natural waves. It's the real, it's the, the real, real thing. Real. Yeah, it was so good. I feel like a little, like, so loose now. Yeah. You could, like, run in that zigzag to fight Komodo dragons <laughs> or something. I'm gonna hold you too, though. We're going on the Komodo dragon search <laughs> after this. Once you say hi in my video, <laughs> these are the masseuses here on the island. Incredible job. Thank Best you. massage Thank of our you. lives. <laughs> Then we did get to experience a pretty gnarly storm, which led to us getting some drinks at the bar. Here is Tipsy Brett enjoying an Aperol Spritz before we made it back to the mainland. Two days just was not enough time on the Kaiowan Island. Since now we are back in El Nido town after surviving probably one of the craziest rainstorms going on the speedboat from the Kaiowan Island back to El Nido. And now after spending 48 hours on a private island resort, we still have 15 US dollars left over. So tonight, the plan is to show you guys what you can get with 15 bucks here in El Nido town. First, we need to get a tricycle. Thank you. And now for dinner, we're gonna be going to a restaurant called Altro. Supposedly, it's one of the best here in El Nido town. So after getting a huge pasta and a drink, it came out to $8, leaving us with $6 left. So to end this video, we are gonna spend the rest of the night having fun, doing some karaoke, and getting some drinks. So after two incredible nights on a luxury private island, meals, a two hour massage, plus having some money left over for town, that is what you can get for a thousand dollars here in the Philippines. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more travel videos for all different types of budgets, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next week, let's get out and get busy.